All right, you go. Um, let's proceed with our little journey, shall we? Um, let me just quickly check a few things. And maybe get me some water. Yeah, I think. I think if I'm going to read a bunch of texts, I'm really going to need to stay hydrated. Let's do this. Um, top secret tunnel. Oh, hello there. You look like you're in such a panic. Hey. Hey. Of the panicking little top. I'm gonna get violent if you don't stop now. What, punch him? <laughs> Should I kill him too? <laughs> I'm sorry, what exactly do you want me to do? Well, that's gonna kill him, right? Right? <laughs> but like... Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but like... Okay, we saved, so it shouldn't be a big deal, right? Calm down, will ya? Or, like, stay dead, will ya? Um... Nagiko, are you looking for Nagiko? Go back to Nagako, okay. It seems to be in a panic. Alright, let's trigger another cutscene. Uh, how did this happen? What did it say? According to Little Tub, they were taking Anasu to Lalona Heim, but were ambushed by monsters halfway, and they lost track of their companions who were ahead of them. <laughs> oh my god, this Japanese fucking dialect is destroying me! Apparently they're located somewhere underground not too far from here, in the vicinity of the Great Caverns in the Tub Lair. Apparently the area is occupied by a swarm of strange bugs with carapace, but no one is able to help them. I might have just the dagger to help them. Don't give me that look. Well, you're the only one they can count on now. It's none of my business. <laughs> what, Mr. Welly is? Not wet. Mr. Welly, because he was worried about Anna, he went into the cave alone to get to the tub's territory, and he's apparently now trapped in the caverns. Welly in danger. Given, have you seen that beefcake? No fucking way he's in, in trouble. Given the troubles I had, I, I have, I, I. Huh? Ah, given the troubles I had with them, I'm not really in the position to go back to Uzato and ask those muscle freaks to help now. What should I do? All right, all right, I guess I'll help Wally out, since all I've got to do is drive some strange bugs out. Are you willing to help? Thank you so much. Don't thank me so soon, I'm not doing this for free. You can start thinking about what you ought to give me as a bargaining chip for this deal. Just as my captain said, there's no such thing as free lunch in this world. That would not be a problem. Alright, you've got a deal. When you return to the tunnel later, Little Tub will lead you on the right path. Please be careful. I've got it. Little Tub, please show me the way. Uh, Alright, let's go, motherfuckers. Beep beep coo coo boo boo boo. I swear, this game is like a desperate need of... ...of localization. Fucking hell. But if I played in Japanese... What? What fuck did I just do? Oh my god, I just... Oh, ow, I ate the soup. And I... <laughs> I gained two fucking levels by just eating a single bowl of soup! Fucking hell. Kids grow quick, don't they? Oh, 
Okay, which way? Which way am I exactly supposed to go, though? Hey, DDD, where the fuck are you? Ah, this one. Okay, sure. Has there been a collapse here? Oh. Anyway, let's just keep up with the little toe. But before that, we're gonna search the area thoroughly. <laughs> this is the entrance? This leads to another place down there. Hey, you're not asking me to jump in, are you? Are you sure about this? No, no, no. I'm not doing this. Here I go. Jump into the hole and head for the tub's den. Tub layer. Safe landing. Good thing I've, I've, I've got quick reflex. Oh god! So I didn't land the wrong way. This the dialect Lex. Like it's not only like if there's if this fucking hell. This game is. I love this game. Okay, which is why I'm extremely frustrated that the text is just moving too fast in Japanese sometimes. So I cannot just auto translate it and read it aloud in English. Which is why I have to play it in English. But if I play it in English, fucking hell, they have so many things that could be improved here. Ah, even as a non-native speaker, I can see that shit. What kind of weird place are you taking me? You better not try anything funny. They will be sorry for what I'll do to you. Oh god, isn't this the den of the Tub King that I've been seen before? Huh? Den King? What? What the hell? The tubs, regardless of their sizes, are really old pervets. It's a good thing I managed to escape in the end. I can't imagine what would happen if I didn't. I can't imagine myself being his bride. Who? Oh? Rumbling noise! Where are you going? Oh well, he has done his job, although I have been avoiding combat as much as possible this far. This time I must give everything I've got. Alright, let's kick some ass. Wait, what is this? Oh, there's a, a secret booby. Not a trap, but like a chest. Hey, woo! Wait, what? There's, is there a treasure this way? Can I break those? Alright, time for some adventure shit, right? I swear, this couldn't sound less threatening, though. Like, Tub Lair. What the fuck is that? Tub Lair? Come on, guys. Surely you can do better than this. Anyway. Hello. Hey. What do you sell? Puree recipe. Oh, I need marbles. Okay, well, you see, I'm a lady. It's I'm having a hard time with those marbles, you know. But I'll see what I can do later. Ah, oh, it's taking forever. Ah, oh, wait. You have to like, yeah. You have to do it this way. Oh, no. Goblet of Mimia. Drinking its contents. I still cannot find it. Like, if I go to my inventory from here, by the way. Just so you know. Like, if I go from... Oh, you motherfucker. Right, so if I go to my inventory from here... Uh... Like, bag, right? I just don't see it, right? It's just not here. It's not in key items. It's not here. There's no goblets here. 
right? It's not a food item. Okay, if we go to character screen, maybe... Um, notes on traits, guideline... I don't get it. I love it how one of the verbs here is skin. As if I ha I can skin this particular creature, you know? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I don't know, I find it so fucking weird. Anyway. I know, I know, I know, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's not a verb, so... Okay, let's keep this music a little bit more quiet. Um... Maybe like this. Okay, this is a lot better, I think. Um... The aliasing... Guess I'll have to Google it at one point, how do you use these, but for now I'm having no issues not using these, so... Can you fucking chill? Okay. And there you go. Look at this ranged attack, it's crazy. How can you not like this? Like, everything is so smooth. The controls are so fucking... It feels so nice. I don't know, I think I have a soft spot for these kind of games. Like, most people probably would be like, What the fuck are you playing, bro? But I'm like, I fucking love this. I don't give a shit. Uh... Okay, where do we go from here? The big hole is just over there. Let's go quickly to help me. Oh my goodness, why is it taking forever to destroy this thing? Wait, by big hole, do you mean... Wait, we got a map here, right? Wait, can you show me again? If I jump down there... Yes, I like games like this. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Wait, it's making me feel uneasy. I should stop going any further. What? Ah. Of course it's gonna make you feel uneasy. Most of insect enemies are hard to resist fire. Wait, it's that sub-attack. Quick menu. You mean this? Right, if you say so. Well, obviously there's something here, right? Oh well. What sort of monster is this? That's Welly. Oh no, it's Shama. It's coming right for me. The two of you just leave me and go. Whoa, that thing hurt me. A lot. I think I'm gonna die. And I'm dead, yeah. Well, technically we can use these. But I wanna beat it without... I, I hope there's a checkpoint. Thank fucking god there's a checkpoint. Why? Why is she just standing there? Oh my god. Oh wow, this is gonna take a while, huh?
Alright, let's restart. Perfectly dodged. Fuck. What the fuck? That was 90 damage. Crazy. Bitch slap me. Alright. What? But I jumped! Oh wow. Fuck. This is pretty dark. Ooh. I can barely deal any damage. I hate this fucking smacking attack. Okay, I learned to... What? Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Alright. I still took 50 damage, even though I performed the dodge. So fucking weird. I still took the damage. Oh, this thing just obliterates me, goodness. Goodness gracious. Um... No, 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 not continue. Okay, there's a few things I want to do- but fuck, I- Ah, oh, there's- Okay, before this, character equipment system competition. What happened to my, like, flaming then or something? Didn't I have one? Fuck. Looks like I no longer have it for some reason. I'm gonna smack your ass. Can you stop with the corrosion, bro? Yeah, I like this. I like this. I'm getting used to it slowly. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, we stunned it! We stunned it! What the hell is going on? Use the fucking soup! Ah, well. No soup for me. Smack it, then dodge this attack. Do some of this shit. Dodge it again. Oh, that was close. It's very close. Beautiful. Oh yeah. 
I handle you like a bitch. All right. Do not get affected by that fucking corrosion thing. Oh no. Fucking hell. Wait, what happened to my suit? No, 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 my suit! Not sub attack, like my suit. Use the fucking suit, where is it? How do you use it? Hotkey select, confirm. Yeah, how about you just fucking use it? R1 use. Uh, wonderful. Now we need a. Uh, Fucking hell, how do I fight this? Ah, oh, I see now. So it's like a range space. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that fucking sea of acid, literally? Oh my god! What? No, what? Ah, oh, well. Well, I'm playing on the highest difficulty, so, you know, it is to be expected that this is not going to be easy. Really. Oh no. Ah, uh, this won't- wait, what happened to my suit? Oh my god. Is it like lost forever? This is crazy. What the fuck? There's no checkpoint for these things? Oh wow. We have to beat this thing without losing a single fucking HP. This is crazy. Oh no, I'm dead. We're definitely making some progress, so it's okay. And also, I'm not using those check- oh my fucking god, why is there- Why is there this thing in here? Come on! Oh no, this is bad. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Not too shabby, I. Not too shabby, I. Mother pusker. What? How did- Now that is just a load of bullshit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. Too much time and acid. Ah. Alright, that was good. Good. So far, so good. Alright, I like this. Oh no. 
isn't good. What? No channeling whatsoever? This is crazy. All right. What? Wait, what? Ah, oh, come on, stop with this shit already. Come on. Beautiful. Oops. The acid pull is it's too punishing, isn't it? All right, so far, so good. not take that 90 damage up front, right? Not the smart thing to do. Woo! Oh my god. And there it goes again with that spitting attack. Yeah, I guess if we just gain enough height, this gives us enough momentum to just dodge the... Not like this, though. Oh, this is so good. Oh! Wow! This is annoying. What? Wait, what? Why is... Ah, oh, you can just kill me at this point. Bullshit. That's just bullshit. I shouldn't have taken any damage from that. Alright, that's good. Not too bad. Wow. Fuck.
There's like a huge difference between what this thing does in phase one and phase two. There's also this fucking acid everywhere, it's crazy. This is challenging though and very feels nice to play. But my fucking god, playing this is, is like hell. So many little things I have to take into account. And, and there he goes with that weird attack that I have no idea how to dodge. Okay, maintain verticality, I guess. Because once he, like, reaches us... One more. Just look at this. It's gonna take me so much fucking time. Oh my god. No! No! Oh, this thing is so fucking spongy! God. What if we use something different? I don't know. Like this attack. Nah, this doesn't work. Oh no, I'm dead, basically. They can just kill me. Damn, this is brutal. Why is there fucking... At least remove it, please. Basic human dis decency, I swear. Unreal, what? I dodged it. I cannot fight it like this, but I can throw this shit at it. Okay, there it goes. The toughest part of this fight. And then one more. And I'm dead, aren't I? Ah! That's okay.
Come on. Woo. This is gonna take a a dot in. A minute. Ah! Oh no. Oh, there you go. All right, there you go. Okay. Bullshit. Mother... Fuckery. I've seen enough hentai with that sound effect! Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I cannot believe I have this much mobility. It's unreal. Whoa. Right. Woo. Seriously, this character is so much mobility, it's unreal. Lice and dice. Oh no. No! I guess so far so good. I think I found a better way to dodge this. That doesn't require me to do any crazy shit. Yeah, just do this. Alright! Easy peasy. <laughs> Finally got rid of it. Why do I keep hearing the noise of pebbles rolling about around me? I'm pretty sure there are more than one of those monsters roaming around here. I have a bad feeling about this. By the way, where are those mean-looking hooligans and an Anasu? Uh, this is rather embarrassing for me to say, but I was so focused on dealing with those monsters I haven't seen before, and I failed to pay attention to which direction those hooligans have taken Anasu. Not only were they very familiar with the secret underground passages here, they even seemed to know the habits and behaviors of these monsters too. By directing the monsters' hostility towards me, they were able to distract- extract themselves from the encounter. <laughs> Fucking hell. When the opportunity came. And it's not your fault that Anasu got captured. I, it wouldn't be a good idea if we just go after them blindly. Should we go back to Malgiko first and come up with a better idea of action instead? Uh, I guess you're right. Before we go, I just need a moment to check these monsters. Beneath the Earth of Uzato... Uh, has something so frightening been hiding all this time? Yeah. Nah. This is also my first time to see such a strange bug. Judging from their appearance... Myriopoda, heart carapace, multiple compound eyes shaped like centipedes, and dark red bodily fluid... Well, anything useful? Nothing, huh? Well, they took a tentative taste of the bugs. Although it is bitter, it doesn't have that distinctive rusty taste that you get in blood. Does this mean the color isn't coming from the blood? It sucks. That would make this bodily fluid really special. What is the matter with you? What, is this? what if it was poisonous? Don't worry. In truth, barring the possibility of prior processing, if you ingest toxin or venom produced by or secreted by a living organism, it doesn't cause you to be poisoned. Of course, it would be a different story if you have an open wound in your mouth, as the toxin could enter your bloodstream through the wind. Most forest keepers are trained in medicine and herbology, and that covers working knowledge in the preparation of antidotes. Understanding of poisons, venoms, and toxins. Telling whether something is poisonous or not. I only did what I did because I'm fairly certain that I could learn more about the monster by tasting its bodily fluid. Alright, Brother Willie. In that case, I'll check the area for any suspicious for you. 
How to Tuku giant insect carapace get? Look for suspicious objects in this area. Ah, you mean this? Honestly, I never thought there were actually creatures other than tubs that could be so skilled at burrowing. In fact, if we are strictly comparing them and their ability in burrowing, their tubs might actually be far inferior compared to this one. Take a look at this pair of hard and sizable mandibles. Notice how much pulverized rock and debris from its biting are still on it. Coupled with the powerful hooks on its feet, they would definitely help them to move about in tunnels they create by burrowing. It looks like the subterranean area of Vizado has gotten more and more dangerous. I guess that also means greater insecurity for the folks who live on the surface, Nyang. Why would you add Nyan at the end of that sentence? Well, speaking of insecurity, we've had literally non-existent knowledge about this monster in the past. Oh, Brother Welly, it was just a careless remark I made. Although some minstrels who claim to have traveled to the edge of the world swore that they have seen such monsters with their own eyes. None of them had proof to validate their claims. There it goes again. I think the only one in this world who can actually have a decent conversation with them would be Nagiko. small cloth pouch caught in the throat of this monster, something that those hooligans left, perhaps. Most of the contents were crushed. I see some small beads. These beads, they're so lustrous and transparent. It looks to be worth quite a bit of money. Should I keep them? Hmm, I guess I better show them to Wally first. Wally, took a look at this. Such impeccable polishing. Putting it up against the light source, I can hardly detect any trace of impurity within its transparent sphere. Although I'm far from an expert like Nagiko when it comes to the appraisal of items, I can say for certain that this is crystal marble of exceptional quality. So this is crystal marble. Ah, so that's what we trade recipes and shit for. The fact that he's got crystal marble on him, I uh, venture it must be the effect of Harma Barbarian. Harma Barbarian? Oh, well, what is that? Uh, but upon closer inspection, Lid didn't catch Shama's question and continued his observation. I can't help but begin to have doubts about my conjecture. After all, this is not the level of craftsmanship that the Hammer Barbarian could possibly have attained. The curvature of the sphere is simply too precise. Not even the finest craftsman from Uzado could guarantee this feat. It's really suspicious. Who cares who or what made it? It is, if it's something that troubles you so, we wouldn't want other people to be in possession of it. I guess that leaves me with little choice but to assume the responsibilities of its custody. Wait, hang on. I'm not privileged with the authority to either consent or judge the validity of that. Uh, not only that, if you don't mind, in moments like this, all you do is not with approval. What? Right. Thanks for playing along. Well, find your keepers. You'll get your share too. I'll treat you to something tasty. Well, I'm about done here with my investigation. We've lost sight of Anna Sewell, and she's probably been taken to somewhere deeper into that hole. If I had a guess, she's most likely deep into the territory of the Hammer Barbarian now. Considering the ceaseless amount of pebbles and rocks that have been falling from above around us, I think it would be wiser if we return first and plan our future course of action. Here, I'm fine with that. What did he... just blush? Chapter 3, The Trace of Quake. Damn. Your level limit has been unlocked. Make your way to level 25. Yay! Skill list displays the character controls and specific levels of which. What? I can't be ah what? I can't believe such thing actually happened. It appears that those earthquakes we have been having recently are not of uh, what I. Nobody can read this fat. Unfortunately, the monstrous worms proved to be a tough enemy, and that's why the tubs managed to get away with Anisul through a passage we haven't seen before. Given the circumstances, I wasn't able to pursue them any further. I'm terribly sorry about this. Oh, it's not your fault, Brother Willie. Don't take it so hard on yourself. Why would the hammer goons come seeking trouble? Oh, the sun! Fucking translation is different this time. 
Nagiko has been avoiding this subject for some reason. I wonder why. Is it just me? Somehow Nagiko seems to be acting strangely. Maybe he sold her into slavery. I don't know. I do know that somewhere in the middle of Sunset Valley, Tazanaheim and Lolonaheim, underneath this vast forest, lie a number of abandoned mines and of various scales and the old patrolling trail, which is set to extend to the borders of Longhorn Forest. A mine? Which means here at Kuzaro, there could be other creatures other than tubs digging tunnels and holes under the ground. But no one has worked at the mines, and they have been abandoned for more than 10 years. I wonder if the recent series of earthquakes have inadvertently revealed the buried passages to the mines once more. That monstrous worm that you encountered. If memory serves, it does bear some semblance to the monster as drawn by old Rubis. Now that you mention it, well, you have certainly refreshed my memory. I certainly hope it will not escalate into a swarm of swarms. Swarm of swarms! Why the long face all of a sudden? This can be good. Rubit, swarm of swarms. Um, Rubit. Who is Rubit? Is my mentor in the trade. Younger folks like us refer to him as Old Rubit. We come from the tribe of Pakivano in the western parts of Ghana Ru. And that includes Anasu as well. Oak Rubit is always straight as an arrow and as frank as they come, but he's a bit of an odd duck. He never bothered to check if anyone understood the words he was saying. That's why we had to write down everything he said to verbatim. Everything he said. Ugh. Fucking hell, they really need to edit this shit. Before taking the time to process and parse what Oak Rubit was trying to tell us. It's sound. <laughs> ah, are you shitting me? Not a single fucking English native speaker when he read this fucking text felt like maybe, just maybe, he should like maybe send an email, ask those people to like, hey, I can like fix this, you know, send me the files or anything. Fucking hell, this is this is oh, this destroys me. It sounds it sound like he is the captain then. Oh, yes, yes. Does this mean he's still traveling around the world, adding even more contents to his letters even till this day? I've no doubt that he is. It's his lifelong wish after all. He once told me that for the next leg of his journey, he was going to travel to the edge of the world. The region between Uzaro and Longhorn Forest stretching to the end of the world conceals countless ancient stone slabs and ruins that are unknown to man. Old Rubit should be at Lolonaheim as we speak. This place isn't far from Uzaro and is probably deciphering the ancient texts on the stone slabs in search of various signs and clues from before the doomsday. Wow, it sounds like old Rubit is a man of action. I'd love to meet such an impressive individual in person. Wait a minute. Um, some parts of the Longhorn Forest are off limits to even forest keepers. I'm not sure if old Rubit has been granted permission to enter such areas. There's no need to worry about that, Willie. Old Rubit is well aware of Forest Keeper's rules, and from what I've heard, Old Rubit has received a warm welcome from the chief of the local tribe in Lolonaheim, and has been invited to serve as their advisor. Right. Lolonaheim sounds like the name of a place, right? That is the home turf of the Hamagoons. They seem to be talking about many things that I haven't heard of. Any question to ask? Form of worms. What was the swarm of worms that you were talking about? There's an ancient poem that described the scene of swarm of worms. Where everything on the land, mountains and valleys included, would be leveled to the ground and buried in debris because of the rampaging worms. Damn, that sounds like a story of the doomsday. That does indeed. They seem to be talking about many things I haven't heard of. Any question to add? Monsters and carapace. Rubit's lettuce. Rubit's lettuce. What are the Rubit's letters you're referring to? These letters I have, uh, were copied by means of manuscript by my teacher Rubit from the collections of priests at the temples of the seven major tribes. That is amazing. May I have a look? Sure. I've already bound his letters into a book for easy perusal. Great. Thank you so much. Flip through his letters. Old Rubit really drew quite a bit of weird and bizarre things. He's indeed a man who has been around the world. Huh? This image, it's identical to what's on the brooch. Perhaps he might know something about the owner of it. Nagiko did mention that old Rubit happens to be somewhere near Uzato at the moment. If I can find him, he might point me in the right direction. Maybe this is my opportunity. 
Mr. Nagako, do you think it's possible for me to meet with old Rubitz? We often overlook the fundamental quality of things. Instead of just relying on our eyes or just our five senses, we have to utilize more logical rationale to evaluate, verify, and analyze in order to prevent being misled by our feelings. Uh, hold it. Uh, well, by your line of reasoning, just as we give leeway to the feasibility of poems, it would be over presumptuous by to hypothesize that. to hypothesis that the monsters described in the letters could just be the product of an individual's imagination that was amplified beyond reasonable boundaries, right? Well, that's exactly what I meant, but we also cannot deny that in the original poem, the source of the poet's imagination must have been a specific experience or account that actually took place. What are we talking about now? Why am I not getting anything you've just said? Continue to listen to the conversation and stop them from digressing. Continue. Well, let's just keep them going at it. Well, by your line of reasoning, just as we give leeway to the feasibility of poems, we'll be over perceptions of it. It's the same thing. Huh? Alright. Hold it. You two have definitely stayed away straight away from the topic. You might want to return to the subject matter. Well, by your line of reasoning, just as we give leeway to the feasibility of Huh? That's the same. What they the same fucking thing for the third time. What? If the story of landscape destruction caused by the swarm of worms is the aftermath of romantic imagination inspired by witnessing the remains of huge sandworms, then we ought to be worried about the extent of threat on the tribes that these earthquake-causing monsters have. That's enough. Don't forget that those hamagoons have taken Anasul. Crap, I just can't get those t th these two to stop talking. How am I supposed to get their attention? to interject and interrupt the conversation. Huh? It's a quest? I don't know. Cook his fucking soup or something? What? Chaos cook, sure. Chaos cook! Potato spr sprout salad. He was for 4%, but trigger perhaps. Right. Oh, I'm out of salt, damn it. Okay, cooking didn't work. The man, they seem to be very familiar. Judging for the weapons. Got an eye for details. I'll be honest with you, those men were indeed hammergoons from Lalona High. Had a bit of squabble with those men in our business arrangement as of late, and since I usually entrust Anastasia with the delivery of my goods, that is why she was unfortunately involved in this incident. In other words, the Hammergoons have taken Anasu hostage as a bargaining trip to force you into accepting their terms. So theoretically, Anasu's life is not in danger for the time being, because killing her would render the kidnapping meaningless. That said, Mr. Nagiko, I cannot but can help but wonder about the nature of business arrangement you have with those men that would prompt them to resort to such a drastic measure. Unfortunately, as a merchant with a reputation to protect, I'm obliged to keep specific details of our agreement confidential, and as such, I won't be able to share any more information with you. As irresponsible as that may sound, please do believe me that I am just as concerned about Anasul's safety as you are. If old Robert really is at Lolonaheim at the moment, uh, why can't we enlist his help to convince those Hamagoons to let Enosu go? It would make this situation much easier to deal with if someone could deliver my message to old Rubit. I can't ask the Forest Keepers to help me with a personal affair like this. I understand your concerns, and I will gladly run this errand for you. I'm terribly grateful for your generous offer to help, Willie. However, given your duty as a Temple Guard, I don't think it is wise of you to be leaving your post. Not only that, the way to Lelonaheim comprises countless narrow tunnels and passages. Muscular men such as you will have a t tough time traversing them. In contrast, female forest keepers will be better suited for the task. But that doesn't make much sense. From what I know and have seen with my own eyes, Hamagoons are noticeably more muscular and larger in size compared to forest keepers. Wouldn't those tunnels and passages be a problem for them as well? Although the Hamagoons are typically bulky, bulky in physique, are similar to folks from Ganaru, in a way as they all have great flexibility. And that is why they are able to maneuver themselves with such nimbleness in this sophisticated subterranean maze. 
If some brave sir was willing to volunteer herself and bring Anna Sue back to me, I swear on my honor that I'll offer a handsome reward as a gesture of my gratitude. Knock on their heads, sing and dance, scream at the top of your voice. Sing and dance. The can, the can! Anna, Muda, me, Anke, sec. Huh? That sacrifice herself. What? Is that a joke? Do these two people feel no pain? Oh, for God's sake, when is it going to end? Sacrifice yourself? Can I, can I like... I can pause. I don't know why would I want to pause, but... But sure. Um... This is too much. I won't put up with this. I'm gonna show no mercy on the two of you. What? Ah, that's what... That's what you call a sacrifice? Ooh. That didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work! Alright, screaming then. That's enough. Listen to me first. Although I know the whole affair has absolutely nothing to do with me, you have gone totally off track, and you could keep discussing till the end of time and arrive at no conclusion. Why are you so upset, Miss Sharma? It's obvious there were two tasks of utmost importance, one being the presence of sandworms beneath us, and we need to inform the forest keepers immediately. And the second is to set out immediately to rescue Anna Zul or someone locate Lord Rubert to get his help. Yes, you have brought up a great point, Miss Sharma. And also, Mr. Nagako, about all those narrow passages and tunnels you mentioned, I'm quite sure that they wouldn't pose a problem for me. Miss Sharma, does that mean you intend to help Mr. Nagako by rescuing Anasu? <clears throat> Although I'm no forest keeper, I think I can still give it a shot. It brings me such relief that you're willing to help in this situation, Miss Sharma. But the underground passages are in familiar territory even to us forest keepers. Don't you think that is rather reckless and risky? Yes, which is why I'm not doing this for nothing. I'm expecting this. Made a gesture with her hand, hinting at Nagiko by the payment. It's as if Nagiko knew Shamo would volunteer herself. The corners of his mouth raised ever so slightly and he replied in a calm, composed manner. Gotcha. Don't get so worked up now, Miss Sharma. This is a token of appreciation for you for agreeing to help, Mr. Willie. You can have this rune of cure. By equipping it, you can strengthen the effect of recovery items, and will definitely come in handy in your adventures. As a sign of good faith, you may take this money as an advance for your payment. Whether you complete this mission or not, you can keep that money. That's quite a generous gesture indeed. Seeing how Miss Sharma is always so keen to help, I'd love to do business with such an enthusiastic individual by making you my partner in the antiques trade. Antiques? Yes, in your future adventures, should you find any ancient silk, books, fragments, or texts, or, and so forth, I will buy those from you with reasonable amounts of crystal marbles. Not only that, I'm also a vendor of repaired and restored antiques that have had their mystical powers reawakened. Should you ever need them, Miss Sharma, you'll get the best prices for me. Uh, that surely sounds appealing. So you're basically saying that I can exchange for crystal marbles like these with you using scraps I find in my adventure. Yes, that's exactly it. How did you get your hands on those, Miss Sharma? I found it on a monster track and a monster back in the caverns. So I can buy stuff from you with it now. Yes, you can. The antiques I sell are not just for show and appreciation. Most of them are very useful. Different antiques contain different mystical powers that might cancel one another out or amplify each other. Generally speaking, you only need to equip it to benefit from its effects. But how to match them will depend entirely on your personal preferences. Mystical powers, you say? You'd better not be pulling my legs. Let me first take a look at your wares and see if there's anything useful. Uh... Whoops. Okay, this time we save over here. And check his wares. Also, what about selling? I got 18? Fucking hell. 18 is kind of a lot, no? Rune of Cure. I can sell it for 5. Huh, interesting. Oh, I see. 
Ah, wait, so I need gold to purchase ingredients and shit, but to purchase something actually useful. Oh, I see now. Once the Hammer Goons reach the Outer Circle Mining Ruin, you can think of that area as their official territory. Under normal circumstances, they will hand over delivery missions to be handed over, handled over by the local tubs from there on. That sounds like my opening. Precisely. You are very sharp indeed, Miss Shaman. The tubs are much easier to deal with in comparison. That said, if you were to lose track of Anasu for any reason, I would have to count on you to seek out Old Ribbit for his health. Oh, did you actually want me to infiltrate the Lonaheim? Lodonaheim is the home turf of the Amagoons. That's no different from suicide. You must not do this. Don't get so worked up, will you? Just give me a moment of your time and hear me out. According to the information I received a few days ago, it appears old Rupert has been staying near the Outer Circle mining ruin for a few days to carry out some archaeological excavations, and he won't be returning to Lodonaheim anytime soon. So what I would like Miss Sharma to do for me is to search the area for the old man. And when you find him, you only need to hand him his letter. Nagiko gives that letter to Shama. I can't read any of this. What does it say? Don't you worry. Old Robert only reads in Pakivano writing. Uh, this letter is the proof that Miss Shama has been entrusted by me to act as my courier. I've also included a brief account of Anasu's kidnapping in the letter. When Old Robert sees it, he will understand the whole situation. And also, since winter will soon be approaching, Please do me this favor and remind old Rupert to take better care of himself. The weather will be getting cold and that he should put on his fur coat to stay warm. Right, gotcha. I'll deliver your message to him. I think the right mind could forget to put on something warm if he has to spend the night outdoors in this time of the year. Such a contrived reminder feels weird and out of place. I wonder if it could be some sort of secret password between them. Well, let's leave it there for now. I will do my best to bring Anasu back. Not only that, I want to ask old Rubit about my brooch. I'll be coming back if I need anything from you. I hope this would be the start of a fruitful cooperation. Okay. I understand. I hope you will find the clues you have been looking for. I'm so glad to become partners with Miss Shama. One quick reminder. When you find yourself in the vicinity of Outer Circle Mining Ruin in Lodonaheim, the odds of finding Crystal Marble will be much higher. You might even come across even rarer treasures, such as stone slabs and other ancient relics. Are you telling me if I get to Lodonaheim, there will be more goodies for me to find? Well, if you ignore the potential dangers from the savagery of local barbarians, I guess you could say that. Alright, I gotcha. I can already smell the alluring stink, stink of money now. In that case, I will be entrusting this crucial mission of rescuing Anasu to you. Don't you worry. Though it's a deal that I had agreed to without much thought, a deal is a deal. Since I gave my word, I will do my best to honor it. It's a fundamental principle in the market. I've followed the captain of my troop and see how he handles such things, and I do know the ways of the world, more or less. It appears that you have been properly taught by someone wise and experienced with worthy affairs. My respect for you is certainly growing by the minutes. Yeah, he taught me that one will quickly face the consequence of his actions if he breaks his promise lightly. As to what I should do next, I plan to go back to the Great Cavern and investigate the passage that Willie mentioned. However, Miss Sharma is a foreigner in these lands. She knows very little of the area and has no one to depend on. If we ask her to take the risk of braving the potentially dangerous tunnel passage by herself, it is almost guaranteed that terrible things will happen to her. I am not sure you're saying that out of genuine concern for my safety, or is that your way of jinxing me? Your please pardon him, Miss Sharma. I'm sure Brother Willie is concerned for your safety. It's just that his somewhat peculiar rhetoric may come off as being insensitive at times. I think it's just his way of saying that he can be of help. Am I right in saying that? I am not particularly opposed to the idea of tagging along. At least you would stand a significantly better chance of staying safe. What the hell? You- the whole discussion before that was about... This guy being so fucking buffed, he won't be able to get through. Now he's like, yeah, I'm going with you. What the fuck? I'm all for it, I suppose. 
So let me state for the record here that no matter what payment or compensation that Nagako has promised you, your loan will be entitled to state payment, and I really will not ta take a dime from it. Now we have a deal. Well, I guess that makes us partners and that we can depend on each other, even in matters of life and death. Depend on each other in matters of life and death. Yeah, in other words, we're now comrades working toward a common goal. Oh, by the way, you might want to stop talking about all the bad stuff that might happen. Excuse me, is anyone home? Hey, the front door is open. You're welcome to help yourself inside. Forgive me for visiting without prior notice. I am Rini from... Once again, I apologize for my intrusion, but uh, Ziggut told me that I can find Lily here. Oh, look at you, Rooney. You seem to... Fuck, nobody can read this fast. Suppose all the priestesses must be exhausted, and very soon, it will be the ritual of the spiritual tributes. It will be performed at the first moment of Void Moon. If I had a guess, it will surely be the chief priestess for the ritual. It can be a very challenging mission. It's not challenging at all. As a servant of God, doing my best in service to God is just a natural duty to me. Wow, so she is a priestess of Uzaro. She's incredibly beautiful. Well, at the sacred temple, she has attained the highest level of blessing for mediumship. Which means she's just as revered as the high priestess. Incidentally, she's also the alternate candidate as Uzaro's star arc virgin saint. I know who has been chosen as Uzaro's star arc virgin saint, and that would be Muscle Bloke's sister. That doesn't make sense though. If she's so blessed, why wasn't she chosen to be the virgin saint? I'll let you in on a little secret. Once confessed to me in private, unless she was destined to be the Virgin Saint, she has zero desire or aspiration to be the Star Arc Virgin Saint. Her only wish is that she could stay here in Rosado. Well, that's quite something indeed. I mean, I imagine it to be the dream of every girl to be selected as the Star Arc Virgin Saint. Not to mention that she's already a priestess. I'll tell you what's even more special. You'll only catch a glimpse of her genuine girlish smile when Willy is around. Uh, why are you telling me that? It's not like I ask about such gossip. Well, what is so urgent that you have to find me personally? Could it be the High Priestess? Yes. High Priestess Udi has something urgent that would require you to make an immediate visit at the Sacred Temple. I have already promised that, uh... Oh, come on now. You have been summoned by someone of great prestige. I wouldn't dare to defy such an order. You go ahead and do what you have been asked to do. I can handle this mission by myself. Fucking hell, the dialects in this game are so fucking long. Although we have only been comrades for a very brief moment. At the very least, I already have your promise, and it is good enough for me. Fine, when I'm done with the task that the High Priestess may have for me, I'll catch up and meet with you. What? Oh, well, um, you really needn't go through such trouble. Kiko, Bibi. It will be just the three of us embarking on the mission to rescue Anasul. Are you scared of what we're about to do? I'm sorry, it seems that I've disrupted the plans and arrangements you have made. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think it's a mission that priests such as yourself can do much to help. We're talking about a rescue mission that requires us to go into the tunnel in the mines. Rescue mission? Well, thank you for the thought and concern. Allow me to clarify the situation, if I may. I have a friend who has unfortunately gotten into trouble. Based on the information I have, I don't suppose she's facing a mortal danger, and as such, the situation is still within my control. I see. And a small vial to Shama. What you have in this vial is so Freezer. Take it with you. To help ward off evil beings. Oh well, thank you. I'll pray for your safe return. Please excuse me for now. Well, please give my regards to the High Priestess. I sense something that I have never experienced before. Coming from that foreigner's back. Could it be just me? Why didn't you tell her the truth? 
I'm sorry for not telling you about my concerns beforehand, Miss Sharma. It is my opinion that it would be better for the priestess to be kept in the dark and not worry about the situation. I see. Well, after giving serious thoughts to the potential dangers you may be facing in the mines, I came to realize that I might have been over optimistic about the mission. To make it up to you, I will sweeten the deal for you. Hey, I haven't even begun my mission you're already talking about paying more for the job. I can't help but wonder if such good fortune only happens in Rosado. Well, no matter what reasons you may have, you're truly a generous person to be working for. You have my thanks. Oh my god. Okay, I need to grab a drink. That was slightly exhausting. something. Alright, good to go. Um. Hmm. Now I gotta go stores now in business. Alright, uh, what's the plan now? I wonder if anything has changed outside. Am I still being chased, by the way, by the guards and everyone else? Hmm? No? Okay. Have you by chance seen a woman building a shield with her hair braided in a circle? I'm sorry, but I didn't see anyone. Right, let's get some milk. Let's get some honey. Alright, time to go rescue Anasu, and while I'm at it, I'm supposed to look for old Rubet, give him the ladder, and send Nagiko's greeting to him. Well, maybe that guy is fooling us into something, I don't know. What do you got? Mushrooms, potato, spices, butter of life. Do I want this? I don't think I want this. Spring water. Remedy grass. Extinguisher grass. Can you fast travel in this game? Like map? Confirm. Maybe I should have saved. And so I, I imagine I'm going to be barred from entry, yeah? 
Okay. Horse keeper should be in there. If we go in like this, we'll be asking for trouble. What about this place? Alright, well. Let's go on with this rescue mission, shall we? I'm kind of surprised there's no fast travel here. Alright, so first things first, let's get that fire dagger. Feeling it, it will come in handy. And there you go. Nothing found. Okay, what else do we got? Light attack, a cure exploration. Okay, it, it kind of sucks that switch quest is auto drive secret tunnel top layer. Ah, uh -huh, and to reach it, don't. Why is there no like? A cool map. Wow, that's a lot of shit. Could it be that I barely saw anything in this game? Like, for real. I mean, look at it. There's so much stuff. And then there's some sort of hell and some brambles and oh my god, that's crazy. Whoa. This is crazy. Oh well, let's go, shall we? Wait, what is this? Okay, so she sells also some stuff. Oh, wow. Reflection effect of physical attacks. Fucking hell. Depending on what we're fighting, this can be crazy. That's a poison effect, burning effect. Throw a roasted jerky. Rune of wealth. Dagger. And I want this one. Mm. 
adds a slashing effect to physical attacks. That's like fucking useless, no? Burning poison. How common are these resources gonna be, like the, the fucking spheres that I see here? Oh, she was also selling some recipes, right? Can I check those? Wait, she totally sold some recipes, right? Was it some other NPC? It's odd. of wealth. Now, let's not, let's not spend our resources now. Ugh. Load, map, bag, quest, character, character. Uh, equipment, weapon. Reflection effect. I'm not sure you're gonna be using this right away, but, like, tracker's dagger. reflection thing though mm. feels like it's too gimmicky you know what I mean Why do I get this feeling that nothing has ever came out from my visit to this place? Having been kidnapped by the Tub Gang, and fighting the Sandworms, and now I've got to find the lost Anasul. Oh. Okay, did you find anything? Send into the underground cavern. Wind, I can feel airstream coming from the hole. The tubs must have left through here. You really are a hound among the doves. You're incredible. Cuckoo! Cuckoo joint party. You can freely customize the buff I can run along. Yeah, the camera doesn't want to move up there, so... Got a deal. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That wasn't my plan. Oh no, am I bleeding? Oh, that's just some way. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Okay, this isn't good. Okay, looks like I'm not gonna be a fan of all this platforming over here, but 
I can probably use one of these. Reborn, Taza Carter. Yeah, it's gonna force me right at the very beginning. Yeah, I think I know where I'm gonna be using my uh, resurrection things. Bring these exploration deaths for sure. Ah, oh, you fucking cunt. I don't give a shit, I'm gonna resurrect. Ah, oh, okay, I'm gonna hate these platforming bits, I swear. Am I supposed to push it? I'll push it, sure. Poor lads. Ah. Wait, what's down there? Hey, we got ourselves in ah. Stop, really. 
Wow, these brambles are fucking annoying. Open the menu to check on the question map box. Hello, bro. Okay, he sells combat gear, milk devices. Maybe we should talk to him. Bo, 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 is there anything, anything you want to know? Where are we? Don't be so loud. The Tub King is resting somewhere nearby, so keep quiet and stay quiet. But if you're a woman, then you'll be fine. If you're a man, you'd better dig a hole and hide. Is there anything you want to know? Tricks to jumping. I'm not sure whether you're aware of certain tricks to jumping. For your own sake, I'll go over them again. Better to perform a hop rather than a full jump to control the heights. When you're performing multi-jumps, the trick to jumping high and far is to time each jump. Don't make the mistake that my master does whenever he performs a double air hike. He would simply spam the jump button. Okay. Skill description interface. Are you... As you increase in level, you will earn... I know that. So should I use items? Thank you. Okay, I think it's time we cook that soup or something. So technically what? How do you first let's first stop the bleeding, right? Um, oh, I'm not bleeding anymore. Okay. Uh that's good. Um No, I don't use it. Fuck. Long press, right? And we leveled up. What do we got? R1, dash and mid air. Alright, pretty useful. Oh, is this another one of those? I can feel a draft coming from ahead. There should be a path that leads to the surface. That's sad. Rocks have been falling around here endlessly. Don't tell me a sandworm is coming again. This seems to be collapsing. Just as I thought, the sand. Yeah. Sup, King! I wasn't expecting you a few days ago. And I also happened to be captured by Sup King. At the time he imprisoned me. And forced me to be his. bride. Been a while, wifey. So this is my ex, huh? You miss me? This time I won't let you get away again. What? Playing this the hard way again. Whoa, that was instant. Fucking hell. Well, that's no way to treat a lady. Time to be reborn. Hello! 
Wait, what? Why did I take that damage? Unreal. Like, this is happening so fucking quickly. I barely have time to react. Ugh. One shots me. What the fuck is this? Wow. What is he doing? What the fuck is that attack? What? Oh, I fucking hate this. Ah, sure, I'm gonna resurrect, whatever. This fight is basically over. Loser. Fuck out of here. You pervert. Why are you crying? Is that being too mean to you? I don't think so. He's throwing fucking rocks at us. Sandworm. Don't touch my wife. Baby, Kirko, are you guys alright? Let's get out of here while we have the chance. Is it not the last we'll be seeing of him? Tough King charges at the sandworm. Is it trying to protect me? It's a big arena. Oh, treasure? Hey, come on, bruh. Oh, this is wonderful. Ah, it's one of those that gives us resurrection abilities, right? Okay. So far, so good. Bizarre Moon. Hello, rabbit. How's it going?
Oh my god, that wasn't... I'm so sorry. That wasn't my intention. Attacking him from below seems to be the way to go. Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Like, why the fuck would I be interested in fighting you? Why would a bat have a pack of spices on it? Let's, be, let's get real for a second here. Apple will come in handy. Okay, before we proceed, let's finish. Let's finish clearing up this area. Fuck. Seems to be not the way to go. their secrets? Oh my... Oh. This is hell. Okay, um... Time for another suit. And then we level up. Wait, you're actually telling me there's nothing there. Cutesy little force. Am I supposed so far so good? Where should we go from here? 
Oh, it's more of these. Alright, so far I'm enjoying this. Safe point. Ooh. I think you're the smart one here, eh? Mm. Let me track the map real quick. Ooh, I wish they at least showed my, like, actual location right now. That would be super helpful. New skill, special attack. Where was trying to leave a figure shaped bomb that will detonate in a moment. It's not I'll be honest, that these these are not the kind of keys that's, that are convenient to use, you know what I mean? Not that can be, <laughs> but um, it's okay. But technically, I might be able to climb that far. No? Ah, oh, no, I cannot use this as a thing. Oh well. of Hapia. One who drinks water. Wonderful. Aha, there's absolutely nothing this way. Oh, it's a good thing we ascertained it now. Judging from your appearance, you're probably not an Ozato Forest Keeper. Well, no matter whence you come... You must be exhausted to have traveled so far in the wilderness such as this. Welcome to our campsite. Oof, bodacious. We're a band of merchants from the region of Tungus. We were told that the mines around this part of the world are rich with ancient treasures and relics dating before the Doomsday. And thus, we have taken a long journey from the east in our quest for opportunities. Aww. Fungus? That's the same place that the merchant in strange clothing claimed to have come from. <laughs> we have chosen to set up our modest business here, in the hopes of making some money. Hey, that's the line that one Sleese always uses when she greets customers. I see that you have already met. <laughs> yeah. She also has red hair, just like I do. That's why I remember her well. Yeah. I'm sorry. There had been a lot of situ a bit of a situation a while ago. 
Hold of British hammer goons went by the campsite, so I had to stash away my goons as a safety measure, in case they come back this way again later. Oh, this is terrific news. The hammer goons went this way, just as I thought. Thank goodness I didn't lose their trails. They must have been doing business here for quite some time now. Anasu, Tungus. Anasu. Excuse me, about those hammer goons you just mentioned, and scuttling off with a Ferrigo, heading in any specific direction? I have indeed. They went towards the hole ahead of us here. They almost kidnapped me too, and they kept saying that they would feed me well. Feed? That definitely sounds terrible. I don't even want to imagine what could happen if those barbarians were to catch me. Fortunately, a powerful old man helped me in time. It's thanks to him that I'm still here to talk to you. I think it would be better to hire somebody else. No kidding. Fungus. Captain mentioned this before. Tungus is a place east of Yaza. It's a realm of un unaffected by the Doomsday. You're right, to be more precise, Tungus is how you named my realm. Actually, my homeland isn't as beautiful as you might think. So long as there are people living there, disasters will plague the lands. You are correct, the worst thing isn't the Doomsday. The three siblings. Once uh, did talk about her other two sisters. I suppose you must be one of her sisters. That's correct, one Sid just left for the tribe in search for business opportunities. And then there's my other sister, Dan, who went into deeper parts of the mine in search for herbal medicine. By herself? That's just too dangerous. Don't worry about her, among the three of us, she is the one you really don't want to stir trouble with. Sounds like she can definitely take care of herself then. That said, I can't help but notice that women from Tungus, such as yourself, all look beautiful and very graceful as well. Huh, your compliment is the best I've heard all day. Well, consider it your lucky day. Since we're both foreigners here, you will get a special discount for everything I offer here. Really, that's too kind of you. Nah, nah, nah. Go ahead, help yourself. Pick anything you may need and I'll give you a discount. This is wonderful, you're so nice. The old man. Who's that knowledgeable person you speak of? Well, he didn't actually tell me his name. I only know that he is accompanied by two hulking bodyguards at all times. I know that what I saw, that old gentleman only cast a glance at the hammer goons, and those critters didn't even hesitate a moment and promptly left for the mine. They did take a brief break here before they headed into the mine. Are they from Uzado? Definitely not, considering their appearances, but given how well they know this area, they are definitely not foreign visitors either. So they are neither foreigners nor Uzada folk, well, what does that make them? Did it be old rubits? Mine? This mine that you spoke of. Whoa. That is a horny creature. Fucking hell. <laughs> that is very horny. I suppose the entrance to it is right here. That is correct, a massive mine that has been abandoned in it is in fact right beneath here. I suppose this must be the mine that Mr. Nagiko has mentioned. According to rumors, the mine goes incredibly deep below, and apart from a rich deposit of crystal mine, one can even find antiques and ancient artifacts that are priceless. <laughs> treasures, you say? Well, you are not the only person to talk about the treasures hidden here. The reason I have accepted this deal from Nagiko is because I wager there will be lots of treasures to be found here. If I get lucky and just find a couple of those, I'd be rich. Guess my fortune has finally turned around. End conversation. Thank you so much for telling me so much valuable information. Don't worry about it. We're all for foreigners here. And you can't help but run into problems and troubles in a foreign land. It's only natural for us to help one another. Not to mention that Mrs. Tenga Show here is kind is as kind as she is beautiful. She's actually a fairy who descended from the heavens. Come on now, Wensi. Stop telling our customers such nonsense. At the very least, it's undeniable that our Tenga Show here is the best. Wouldn't you agree, dear customers? I concur, I concur totally. 
Well, please pay no heed when you run into us in other parts of this land in your future adventures. And you are always welcome to take advantage of our services, because we are all fairies sent by the creator from the heavens. Ah, you're hopeless, seriously. What, you're gonna trade with me just like this? Okay. Stop, bye. Savage de- Whoa, that, those are the ones I've been looking for. Oh, yeah. Temporary immunity to the state of slash. State of curse. I hope I'm not gonna be wasting my shit on this. Lasagna, honey milk, zato puree, minty water. We are gonna need butter for a lasagna. Should I use items? You are. My name is Tangia Show. It's nice to meet you. And yes, I know the name can be a little tricky to pronounce for you. I think you will get used to it after saying it a few times. We came from Far Eastern Tungus Tribe. Got some rare things on sale here. Got anything you want to ask me? No, nothing. Thank you for your business. Vendor here sells recipes. And she sells armor and whatnot, plus daggers and other things. Okay, before we proceed. Stone tablet. That's all I get, huh? Water of life. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh my god, just too shocking. Okay, time to resurrect. Go. Wait, where is it? the hell it's healing got it probably the hate down ooh That was a close one. Alright, time to save again.
Yeah, I think, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna call it a day. And, yeah. We've made some decent progress. We also found bodacious babes, and... What else can you wish for on this wonderful Friday evening? Anyway, so, I, um... Wish you a great one, and... Till the next time. <laughs>